Good evening, demons and demonesses. You're watching Kwame's Notion. Commentary in a logical perspective. Just recently, Disney announced that actress Halle Bailey will be playing Ariel in its new live-action version of The Little Mermaid. And boy, oh boy, let me tell you, the internet has been triggered. Now, when I first saw this story, I really wasn't bothered by it. Mostly because of the fact that I'm like, hey, you know, she's a pretty good-looking actress. Um, I looked into her history. She seems to be have a pretty successful previous acting career. Now the first thing that came in my head, I'm like, alright, great, we finally get a, a live action version of The Little Mermaid, you know. I never really watched that movie too extensively. I think I've only seen the movie once in my entire life, I know. I'm like, alright, well, there's going to be a live action version of it. I don't see what the big deal is. But apparently, to some special snowflakes on the fucking internet, they're making a big deal. I mean, they... they this seems to happen all the time. Whenever, you know, a black actor or a black actress is cast as a specific role, especially if it's a fictional character, everybody seems to make a big deal about it. And that's what I don't fucking understand. Everybody in this country wants a reason to be offended by something. When a black person was cast as Mary Jane in Spider-Man, people made a big deal about it. When people were floating around that they wanted a black James Bond, people made a big deal about it. When people found out that stormtroopers were black, they made a big deal about it. Even though most Star Wars fans knew that the Empire recruited people and not everyone was clones of Jango Fett, Jango Fett isn't even white, he's like from New Zealand or something like that. But the comparisons really don't make any sense. Now what I mean by that is a lot of people that are upset at Harley Bailey playing Ariel, now they're going around leaving comments saying, well maybe we should have um, Keanu Reeves play Muhammad Ali, or we should have Kendall Jenner play Mulan. But from what I understand about The Little Mermaid is that her race technically doesn't really have much of any importance to do with the film. I mean, it, it takes place fictionally, it's a fictional character, it's a fictional creature. I don't see why anyone would make a big deal about a fictional character being cast by someone of a different race. It makes no sense to me. Now, one of the things that people have told me is that the movie is supposed to take place in Denmark. Now, I'm not going to debate that, because that may or may not be true. Like I said, I haven't really seen the movie in quite a few years. But let's say it, that's true and it does take place in Denmark. How the hell do you explain Sebastian? How the hell does a Jamaican lobster end up in Denmark in the 1800s? Does that, does that make any sense to you? I guess what it all boils down to is, if you're really upset over a fictional character being portrayed in a movie, then I would hate to see how you guys would react if a real-life person was portrayed in a biography. I mean, come on, let's be honest. The race of Ariel was never really mentioned in the original movie. Come to think of it, the race of any of the characters, of Ariel, Sebastian, King Triton, uh, Ursula, the prince, I forget his fucking name, sorry. But I don't think any of the races of those characters were significant in the story. And if you were to switch them out with any character, you would still get the same fucking story. I've said this once and I'll say it again, Tom Araya was right. America is a nation full of crybabies. They, they cry about fucking everything. Oh, you, you, you hurt my feelings. Oh my gosh, I'm offended by this. Oh my gosh, I'm offended by that. But when there's things to actually be offended by, no one really says a bloody thing. You know, people could be offended by the shit that happens at the border, but nope, they choose to be offended by a black woman playing a mermaid. Priorities, people. Now, a meme came out of this controversy 
And it's a picture of Idris Elba saying that they should make him King Triton. And to that I say, I agree with that a hundred percent. In fact, I'll even drink to that. British pride, ladies and gentlemen. We need a British guy to play King Triton. And I think you're not gonna find another actor better than fucking Idris Elba. But then again, Terry Crews is also a really good actor. Matter of fact, I don't think there's been a movie he's been in that I haven't liked. So if they can't get Idris, get Terry.